Hey y'all, welcome back. Happy holidays. Today we're going to be making a, ooh, baby, red velvet cheesecake cake, honey. It is going to be absolutely delicious, honey. They're going to be fighting over this at the holiday table. I'm telling y'all, it is going to be so good. I got some red velvet cakes that are moist and all sopped up in between two layers of cheesecake. But if you don't want to do two layers of cheesecake, honey, you want to be a party pooper, just do one. But anyway, you tweak it how you want to. But let's get to the recipe, y'all. So I'm going to make, uh, start out with making the cheesecake. This is a uh, it's not a hard recipe, y'all. It just takes a little bit more time than my normal recipes, but it's super easy to make. So I'm going to add my sugar to my softened cream cheese, okay? You know, the recipe will be, the uh, ingredients will be in the description box below. I'm going to add that to a bowl, honey. Get you a little big bowl, honey. Don't be using no small bowl, honey. You're going to have stuff everywhere. You're going to be soft too. And get you a little hand mixer, and we're just going to mix the sugar and the cream cheese together. Make sure the cream cheese is softened, or honey, you're going to be like you working on the chain gang for real. That's the sound of the me. Working on the chain, okay? We're gonna mix that up till it get like that, right there, nice and smooth. Then we're just gonna tap that cream cheese off of there. Now we're gonna add our eggs. Super easy to make a cheesecake, y'all, but just make sure all your ingredients are room temperature. It's gonna take you about five minutes to make this cheesecake. Add your eggs to that, and as you can see, I'm turning my bowl. Just like that, okay? Just turn your bowl. We're gonna add our eggs in one at a time and just mix it for about 20 seconds in between to get them nice and combined. You don't wanna overmix your batter, just get it nice and combined, okay? And we're gonna add in our sour cream. Get a little tanginess up and down. Okay, make your mouth pop like that right there. Okay, don't add too much, honey. We make a cheesecake, not lemonade. Okay, folks, we'll talk about you in the group chat for the holidays. We don't need that. Just add your sour cream, and then we're going to blend that up for about 20 seconds or so. I'm on low speed here. Don't want to mix it too high because, like I said, honey, it's going to be looking like it's beat up. Going to like it's in a, a old I turn a relationship. We don't need that, okay? Want cheesecake to be nice and smooth. All right, so we're going to add our splash of vanilla, and we're going to also add in our... Um, tablespoon of flour. I like to use the tablespoon of flour just to bring it all together. It also helps to prevent the cheesecake from cracking on you. Okay, so add your vanilla, your salt, and also your flour to that. And it's going to blend it up just like that. We are done with the cheesecake. It took about five minutes to make. And you want to take a rubber spatula, just get all the mixture uh, sopped up. Okay, make sure you don't got no lumps up in there. Okay, then you be looking like food. Never mind. All right, <laughs> next step here. So I've got my springform pan that I'm going to be using. You gotta have a springform pan to um, make cheesecake, y'all. And it's gonna be found at Walmart for about maybe $7. I'm using a nine inch springform pan and I took some parchment paper, not wax paper, but parchment paper, and I just kind of cut around the edges of the pan just to line it, okay? You use some kitchen shears or some scissors to do this step. Super easy, place it at the bottom of the pan, okay? And as you can see, now we're gonna to pour our cheesecake mixture into that on top of that pan okay look at that right there that look nice and luscious mm -hmm. pour it in there just like that i've already preheated my oven to 320 degrees okay so i'm gonna bake this for about 45 to 50 minutes on 320 degrees, okay? I'm not gonna use a water bath because this is going in between two cheese, um, two layers of cake. <laughs> Don't need to be all that pretty, okay? Ain't gotta buy got time for all that. So we baked it for about 50 minutes. When it comes out looking like this, it's gonna be slightly jiggly. That's how you want it to look, okay? You're gonna sit this to the side for about one hour for it to cool, okay? We're gonna let this cool off. Don't you touch that cheesecake. Let it cool off. Okay, and once it cool off, you want to unclamp the pan just like that and pull it off, okay? Now we're going to let this just cool completely in the refrigerator, okay? So I wrapped it up in my saran wrap just like that right there. You want to cool the cheesecake completely. Now, you can do this step a day ahead. I like to... I actually did this a day ahead. Well, I did the layers too a day ahead and I just assembled the cake the next day. So we're going to let this chill overnight or up to six hours. Or if you want to pop it in the freezer, totally up to you. But honey, just go ahead and just put it in the refrigerator, honey. It ain't going to hurt you. Just do this a day ahead. Okay. This is Sunday. You can go ahead and do this tonight or tomorrow and then put the cake together on New Year's. I mean, on Christmas Eve and you'll be fine. Okay. So now we're going to start with the red velvet cake layers. All right. If you know my red velvet cake is the bomb, y'all. You made it for Thanksgiving. It is so good. I'm just gonna use the same recipe, but I shortened the ingredients. So make sure you check the description box. We're gonna start with our oil. We're gonna start with our buttermilk. 
Okay, put that buttermilk up in there and make it nice and soft up and moist. Then we're going to let the spirit lead us. Hallelujah. With that uh, vanilla, put a splash of vanilla in there. But don't you put no splash of that red food coloring. Okay, make sure you measure that, honey, because I don't be wanting no old mud looking red velvet. That don't be sopped up. Folks, I'm talking about you in the group chat. Uh-uh, we want red, the blood of Jesus red, okay, for our red velvet. Amen. All right, so I'm going to mix all of my wet ingredients together okay and now i'm gonna add in my sugar okay i'm not gonna use a hair mixer for this y'all because i feel like mixing the red velvet cake by hand actually allows it to be moist and lighter and fluffier and it's not overworked by hand mixer it's really easy to just do this by hand okay so we add in our sugar we're gonna add a little bit of cocoa you see that it was so it was so fast trying to make your neck snap you know where it went add that little bit of cocoa not a whole lot of cocoa this ain't no chocolate cake it's red velvet. Then we're going to add in our flour to that, okay? And I'll also list my red velvet cake recipe uh, link down in the description box, too. We're going to add it all together. And we are done. That's the, that's everything. The cake is already mixed up. You see, we added our flour, eggs, everything, and we mixed it all together. Now, I've allowed my... Um, my cake pans here have some 9-inch cake pans. I'm using a 9-inch springform pan for the cheesecake. And you want to use a 9-inch um, cake pan for your cake layers because you want it all to be the same size, okay? So I'm just going to spray my bottom of my pan with some Pam or some Baker's Joy, whatever, a nonstick spray, good nonstick spray, and pour your batter in there, okay? This is going to make two layers, okay? We're going to make two layers of this, and we're going to tap the pan and let it just sit for about two minutes so that the bubbles dissolve, and then we're going to bake it on 325 degrees for about 25 minutes. As you can see, when the cake start to pull away from the pan, y'all, on the sides, then you know the cake is done and take it out, okay? And it's nice and moist. Now we're going to do a trick that I always show you guys with your cakes, especially red velvet. We are going to what? We're going to sweat it out, sweat it out, sweat it out. Yeah, we're going to sweat this cake, kind of make it nice and moist, honey. That cake going to stick to the roof of your mouth. Yes, it is. <laughs> going to be so good, honey. I'm gonna take that parchment paper off. You don't have to line it with parchment paper. I just did that because um, I had some left over from when I was cutting it out for the cheesecake. Now we're gonna sweat the cake. This is a great step that my good friend Brian showed me years ago, honey. Okay, we're gonna sweat this cake for a couple hours. I just sweat it overnight. Basically, like I said, I made all of my layers of cheesecake and everything the day before. So I'm just gonna wrap these cakes up in saran wrap. Okay, wrap the layers up and set them to the side, honey. Go on about your business. Now the cheat. Now it is time to put our cakes together. So I'm flipping over the cheesecake because we chilled it overnight, and then I'm pulling off that parchment paper. Now I've got some cream cheese icing here. I'll link that down in the description box too, so you can get that recipe. And we're just gonna put the cake together. We done, y'all. This is super easy. I know it probably like it was hard in the beginning. Y'all was like, uh-uh, I ain't gonna be able to do that. Yes, you are. Can't you see? We are done. It's so easy. Just do it the day before. Now we're going to put the cake together. I got my cute cake stand. I put a little dollop of uh, icing on there just to secure the cake so they we run across that cake plate, honey. Uh -uh, they ain't gonna be stopped up. And you guys know I don't know how to ice a cake to save my life, honey. Okay, I can't ice my way out of a wet paper bag, but that's okay, honey. We're just gonna Put it together anyway, it's going to be good and soft. No matter how it looks, as long as it tastes good, okay? So we're going to put some icing in on top of our layer, the cream cheese icing. And then we're going to also take our first cheesecake. Like I said, if you just want to use one cheesecake, it's up to you. But baby, I like to make it big, honey. Do it big for the holidays. So I'm doing two cheesecakes. If you want to do two cheesecakes, just double the recipe. Okay, so we're going to put our cheesecake on top of that and put a little bit of ice in between the layers. Got to have that icing up in there to make it soft too. Okay, and also help that cake stick together. Then we're going to put all of our, we're just going to repeat the steps like I just did. And boom, ice in between the layers. And there you go. Now, here's a trick. If your, if your cheesecake is, is kind of sitting off like that, just take a little butter knife and just kind of smooth it out just like that, okay? And it'll make it nice and even. And all your layers will be nice and even. Now we're just going to ice the outside of the cake. Y'all do not talk about me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. It's good. That's all that matters, okay? And we're going to ice the outside of the cake just like that right there. Just a nice little layer of icing. Ice the top of it. And no matter how it look anyway, because we're going to cover it with some pecans, honey, because you can't have nothing red veil without some pecans, okay, or pecans. So we're just going to ice it like that right there. Okay, and then we're going to take some good old chopped pecans. If you made my chocolate chip cookies, you know you got some left over. Okay, and just put a little bit on top. Just like that. Just decorate a little print like that right there. Okay, 
It don't matter. It's like a, it's like one of them, them, them ugly men out there who they, you know, they kind of ugly, but they treat you good. Yeah, that's how this cake is. Okay, it probably look a little ugly, but it's okay. It's good. It's good. It's soft up. Okay, so now we're just going to chill it in the refrigerator for about two hours. Chill it before you cut it. Okay, for about two hours, and you cut it, honey, and look, it, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Baby, this cake's so rich and so delicious. When I tell you, baby, you ain't gonna need no more cake ever in your life, okay? Let me tell you something. And I'm gonna show you guys how to freeze it, too. Baby, but look at it. Look at that. Look, baby. Baby. Rich and delicious. Now, this cake serves about 30 people, but it's okay because you can freeze it up, baby. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But, that, baby, just look at that. Look at that. Look at it, baby. I'm just gonna shoot. Lord, have mercy. This is how you celebrate baby Jesus' birthday right here, y'all. So doggone good. Now, if you want to freeze it up, you've got something left over, just all you do is slice it, wrap it in saran wrap. Just put it in slices. That way you can you just bring it out the freezer when you want it, okay? Put it in slices, cut it into slices, I'm sorry. And then you just wrap it up in saran wrap and then wrap it in a little bit of foil and freeze it. It can freeze up to 90 days and it is delicious. This also make great Christmas gifts, y'all. All right, guys, I hope you have a great great, great holiday. Merry Christmas, everybody. Stay tuned for more recipes. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.